When gamers hear VR, two major immediate reactions come to mind. We have those VR owners that are excited to dive into something new, and we have the non-VR owners that feel like popular franchises are jumping ship. With Half-Life 3 being the long-standing, desire-turned-meme in the gaming community, many were shocked to see the downright incredible trailer for Half-Life Alex. though some were quick to call the VR experience a spin-off. Not only could that not be farther from the truth, but it's also aiming to do what the first two Half-Life games did, turn the industry on its head. In our first look at the reveal trailer for Half-Life Alex, we see players stepping into the role of Alex Vance, in a world dripping with even more horror elements than previously seen. From the darkened, derelict corridors, to the creatures hiding in the depths of the game waiting to eat your face off. Valve is taking the challenge of making Half-Life feel even more heart-pounding than ever. According to Valve about what the new game entails, the combined control of the planet since the Black Mesa incident has only strengthened as they corral the remaining population in cities. Among them are some of the Earth's greatest scientists, you and your father, Dr. Eli Vance. As founders of a fledgling resistance, you've continued your clandestine scientific activity, performing critical research and building invaluable tools for the few humans brave enough to defy the Combine. The new game offers challenging puzzles and a horrifying new narrative. But the one thing the studio has been clear on is that it isn't a spin-off or a side adventure. This is truly the next step for the PC mainstay franchise. When Half-Life 1 and 2 released, it completely transformed how players experienced shooters and altered the way developers approached gameplay. Even Bioshock creator Kevin Levine mentioned in the past that his incredible Bioshock series was Half-Life reskinned. This is also a major reason why we haven't seen Half-Life 3 before now. While Alex is a prequel to 2, it is the next step in the series, and the reason why the company waited so long is that they didn't want to touch the series until they knew they could change gaming in an impactful way, in the same manner that the first two games did. We've seen studios delve into VR in the past, some with great success, others not so much. But Valve's take on Alex is much more than the platform. It's about the experience. How I will experience Alex will be totally different than how you experience it. And that's the integrative gameplay experience that will be the future of not only Half-Life, but video games in general. For those that want to get in on the Alex experience, you don't need to have a Valve Index. Though that setup is recommended, players with a HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, Oculus Quest with a PC link, and Windows Mixed Reality can all take part in the action. As for Half-Life Alex itself, the game is available to pre-order now through Steam, with a release window set for March 2020. Are you excited to see gaming evolve and take part in the world that gave us Gordon Freeman? Let us know in the comments below.